What's going on, my peoples and my peoples to be? This is Comrade Card, and this is another episode of the Get to the Point Reviews. Got some more goodies in the mail today. We're about to unbox it and see what we got. Let's get it. Today, what we're doing is we're gonna review a green screen from uh, E-Mart. And this is six by nine, and it doesn't have a rack or anything like that. It comes with attachments, but I'm just gonna give it a shot here. I'm gonna use the, uh, I guess, the rack from my uh, from my vertical blinds as the hanger for the backdrop. So let me put this up there and see what's up. All right, it feels. Got a little weight to it, so it's not flimsy. I thought it was gonna be a little on the kind of hard, kind of like plasticky side, but that's yeah, getting the job done right there. Okay, um, it has a loop on one side, so this is the top side. This is where if you did have a rack system, a pole, or even a, um, I guess in a pinch, if you was being creative, a curtain rod could go through here to hang up your uh, your green screen. All right, so let's use one of these attachments real quick and see, all right, so it has Velcro straps and it has these little rubber hangers. And I think I could probably make the rubber hanger work. Uh, yeah, let's see, just, yeah. okay, throw a spider was on me. <laughs> okay. Um, just for a quick mock-up, you know, I mean, trial and error, I'll figure out, I'll probably buy a rack eventually, but I'm just going to use this clip, clip it onto one end of the green screen, and I'm just going to use this rubber hanger. Bang! Or should I say, dang! Uh, I know maybe some of you going, wow, he didn't even take time to move the light out the way. Yeah, whatever, man. Just trying to get it done. I'm taking advice of my man, Sean, um, I'm Sean from Think Media. Just make the video. I mean, I'm, I'm a perfectionist already, and I probably will get all anal about it as I go down. But in the meantime, yeah, I'm just getting it done, baby. Quick ring. This is more than I needed. I was there was a few different sizes when I was buying this thing, and um, and I wasn't sure. Six by nine seemed kind of small for me. Six by nine is plenty. Trust me. You don't need you don't need anything bigger than that unless you're going to be doing green screen with a car or a towel or something like that. But uh, let me just try to get a little bit of the slack up. Like I said, I'm not trying to get all deep. Um, if I were going to do green screen, probably want, I assume you probably want it as smooth as possible. I don't know if that affects editing software or not. Um, and, I, and I got little clamps from Home Depot and stuff lying around, so I could actually do that, which is what I plan to do. Is Let me see if I can grab one real quick. Yeah, my people, I, I, I got all this type of got cobwebs and stuff on it, but I got stuff like this lying all around, you know? You could easily use this to... Like say if I wanted to go up top instead of like doing this on the bottom. If I wanted to go up top, bang, I'm rolling. And I probably would do that because that's a lot simpler than what I did with the other stuff. I'd probably just grab three more of those, um, mount them up here for you know recording in here. Um, and yeah, that, that would be you know a wrap. So Okay, my people, so this is what it looks like. I have the E-Mark 6x9 uh, background uh, green screen for photography and video. And what I have is I have it just uh, mounted to the um, my, my vertical blind system. And I went and I got some clips out of, uh, out of my garage. I had these lying around. Um, you can pick these up at Home Depot, even though these attachments, I mean, I will not throw these away because these are very handy. I don't know what situation I'll find myself in where I might need flexible uh, mounting uh, and, 
and this will definitely get the job done and I could have used it on this I started to use that on this I was just you know attach the clip here to the green screen and then you have this bungee cord and velcro to kind of attach it to just whatever you have so if you're in a bedroom you can attach this to um, a curtain rod in your bedroom or the edge of your, your closet doors or hinges I mean in a pinch I could see myself even if I had to like there really wasn't a place for me to mount it you could probably get away with possibly thumbtacks thumbtack might be too too uh you might not have enough oomph to it but if you needed to and you put this against a wall that you had available you could thumbtack that to the wall and it would work uh, you could also um put velcro on the back of that and then put velcro on the wall if you had you know if you have more of a permanent installation and you could put that um you could mount that like that or I could even, you could even, in a pinch, I would just go to any hardware store, Walmart section, Target, whatever, and get those little screw-in hooks and stuff like that, or even better, maybe the 3M gluey attachment things. And you could mount that on either side, that way you could have a mounting point for this system. So with little ingenuity, if you're starting out like me and you're just kinda, you're, you're finding things out as you go along and you feel like you need a green screen, I would definitely pick this up for less than 20 bucks on Amazon. You can't beat it. You could mount it to anything, just use a little ingenuity. You could mount this thing to anything. I mean, in the pinch, I can get some 3M strips from, uh, from Walmart and attach it to a wall. You can get little thumb screws, put them into the wall and then mount this. You could use Velcro and you know, and mount it on this and a uh, surface and mount this. It's a very flexible system. And if you're not ready to spend $150 um, for a system with a rack and all of that, I would definitely go for this. It's mad flexible with a little ingenuity. You can get it done, all right? My name is Kamran Carr from L Digital Content, and this has been another episode of Get to the Point Reviews. Until the next time, my peoples, level up. What's going on, my peoples and my peoples to be? This is Conrad Carr, and this is I Suck at 2K, and I don't give a damn. Dang. I'm stupid doing all that. You might not even focus.